Could it possibly be this simple? Or perhaps a better word is elegant. Scientists here at the Pickhour Institute for Learning and Memory at MIT say they may be able to treat and even cure Alzheimer's using nothing more than the power of light and sound. The story just gets better and better every day. Professor Li Hui Tsai has been working on a novel approach to brain repair for most of her career. It centers around the stimulation of naturally occurring gamma waves in the brain, which seem to have powerful curative effects. She and her team tested mice genetically engineered to develop Alzheimer's and used light to stimulate the gamma response. We just shine the light to the mice, and then gamma power is increased, and pathology is reduced. We're like, wow, this is unbelievable. You know, we have to pinch ourselves really, really hard to make sure that this is not a dream. But light alone was only stimulating gamma waves in the visual cortex at the back of the brain. So they added sound. We combined the two modalities, light and sound and we do find synergistic effect in that the propagation of the gamma power to different parts of the brain um, speeded up tremendously. So for a quick review, the MIT scientists have demonstrated they can activate and increase the power of gamma waves throughout the entire brain with a simple, non-invasive exposure to light and sound. But the effects of that are even more remarkable. What we see is not only the power of gamma travel to many different parts of the brain, but the amyloid pathology and the tau tangle pathology, they are all reduced. That's right. Amyloid plaques and tau tangles, the hallmarks of neurodegeneration in Alzheimer's patients, were greatly reduced or even prevented in the MIT experiments. How? the gamma stimulation was having other effects, activating immune cells known as microglia and increasing blood flow in the brain. We see this very profound reaction by microglia. You know, they clearly change their behavior. They're really responding to this increased gamma power and they pile on these amyloid plaques and seems to be very active in trying to, you know, you know sort of eating up the plaques. And thanks to the increased blood flow in the brain, the broken up plaques are then flushed away through the bloodstream. The results that we're seeing are amazing. Dr. Diane Chan, a Pickhour clinical fellow and neurologist at Massachusetts General Hospital, is working on the research. I feel very encouraged that this will be that game changer that we're looking for. Um, because it affects the brain in a systemic way. By activating the microglia and increasing blood flow in the brain, it seems like the brain is working together now so that we can hopefully affect Alzheimer's disease in a way that's never been seen before. The first human trials are now underway, with participants receiving light and sound stimulation at 40 hertz, the frequency that seems to most stimulate gamma waves. We have multiple prototypes, and the one that we thought was the best has a movie playing on it. It's like a big screen TV that we give people, and they can watch a show uh, while they're getting stimulated by the light and sound. The treatment has already been proven safe, and now the work has begun to determine if it is effective in humans. I believe if this is really effective in humans, this will become the most accessible approach for treatment. Now, there are many therapies that show promise in mouse models but do not translate into human applications. Since clinical trials are just starting, a treatment for humans would likely still be years away. But the process is moving quickly because light and sound therapy is non-invasive and does not involve complex pharmaceuticals. Doctors do caution, though, against seeking over-the-counter light and sound treatments and to wait for the scientific studies to be complete. Up next, a nurse's crusade. 